Hello YouTube, I'm PCJ Law, and in today's video we're going to be doing a Domination Victory walkthrough on Deity. Now this is going to be part one of a two or three part series. Essentially, we're going to be doing Deity Domination, we're going to be doing it on quick speed. That means we're going to have to go into the late game, because it's just Deity and it's Domination, it's Pangea. The 5th, 6th, 7th AIs we need to kill are going to be so far advanced in us in tech that we're going to need to go to the late game regardless. So we're going to split this walkthrough guide up into three parts. We're going to do the early game, which we will be covering today, and then we'll go to the mid game and the late game in the future parts of this series. Without further ado, we have chosen the Huns here for this, and we are playing on Pangea map. The standard map size, so eight sieves, deity, difficulty, and quick game pace. Um, the Huns, pretty good sieve, actually. Um, even if you're just looking to do like a regular game, they have a handful of bonuses which are good for regular games, not just domination. Notably, um, starting with animal husbandry technology and plus one production per pasture. An incredible ability is really good. It makes the Huns great, even if you're not doing domination, because you start one tech ahead, you start way behind on deities, so and extra tech is great. It's one you want. Plus one production means your cities are going to get good production. They also raise cities at double speed. We might make some use of it uh, during this walkthrough, but not tons. And then they have their two ancient era unique units, the Horse Archer, which is improved Chariot Archer. It's got extra defense and it starts with an extra promotion and it's got better movement, even though it has the same amount of movement. And the Battering Ram, which is an improvement on the Spearman. It can't attack units, which is one downside, but it has a massive bonus versus cities of plus 300 so really really wicked um, hopefully we can use some of that today first things first we have our start our map for today's game we have something so i don't usually like moving but i am actually already quite tempted to move one toe up onto the silver here not only because if we move one toe up we'll get ourselves a new civil service farm tile we will stay within range of our two production uh, two food one production horse tile and maybe, maybe, maybe we've got a chance to build like Machu Picchu because we'll now be within two tiles of a mountain. We just have to check what we're moving towards. I do see some coast here. And whenever you see coast, you should think about moving to it. But if we're going to settle the coast, it's at least we're going to have to move over and then take one and then settle. And we move away from our good horse tile to start. But I'm only seeing more benefits of moving one upwards. And we can even start settled on luxury. So we'll do that. And we'll queue up our standard tech path of pottery, then animal husbandry, and then mining. Because we started with animal husbandry, we'll take mining. And then we'll take bronze working for good measure afterwards. That's our standard tech path. We're going to start with extra production because we moved up onto this hill. And you do want to try and gain something if you are moving your settler to start with. I'm a big proponent of settling place. I think it's a great thing. But we have earned some extra production and an immediate luxury online. Some benefits and stayed next to our horses quite crucially by moving. So I like it here. And we will settle in place right here and immediately work our horses. When you start a game, it doesn't matter what type of victory you're trying to do. You want to be working your three food tiles or your two food one production tiles. Those are the best tiles to be working at the start of the game. If you don't have any of those because you got really unlucky, a two food no production tile. And then after that, you're looking for your one, pro your one food two production tiles. It's the rough order that you want to be working on your tiles when you start the game. We'll do our standard build order to start of Scout, Scout, Worker. That is our standard for pretty much every victory type, and we're not going to not do that here. And then we'll just get the scouting with our warrior. We have moved towards a sheep, so we have picked up something. This coastal position, by the way, it would have been really, really nice, but we don't get to start next to our horses, and we move away from our luxury resources. I, Yeah, it would have been really, really nice. But alas, we've given up. It's quite hard to tell that after one move, and you really don't want to move too much, and... Our city would still have been quite weak settled on this spot, which is the only one we could have settled on the turn that we settled. We'd have had to have wasted more and more turn time if we wanted to settle that. Looks like a great coastal city spot up here as well. This coastal empire, Grand Mesa, nice. This coastal empire would have been great <laughs> if we'd been doing peace. <laughs> but I'm hoping that we're we're going to be able to kill at least one AI in the early game in this. This is the whole point of this exercise. I'm hoping we can use the Hunnic special abilities on all unit units rather to kill at least one AI in the early game. Hoping so. That's a river I didn't notice. That's a city-state border up here as well. We'll have to make sure and go meet them. You want to be meeting all the city-states that you can in the early game. You can tell where they are even at the edge of your fog of war because there's this tiny little checkered border here that we can see. That means it's a city-state border. 50 gold for our empire. Very nice. 
we're going to go we have no more three food tiles or two food one production tiles so we're going to have to move on to working our two food and two food two gold here is never a bad thing for us to do but Attila's Court's growth. We need to explore south of Attila's Court, so we'll go do that as well. And we will pick up this. There's two ruins here. We'll pick up this one. It's 13 culture. Important. Whenever you pick up a ruin, I'm playing with enhanced user interface, so I know immediately what we get. But sometimes you might run into a ruin and you've got no idea what you've got. Um, check your gold. Check your culture. You might have had enough. Um, in gold, you'll just see you've got gold, but you might have noticed that you have enough culture to be able to open a social policy. You get it a turn sooner. So if you've done that, you might as well see. And we collected enough culture to open a social policy, which takes us to our next important stage. We're going for domination victory? Yes. But um, when you look at the social policy trees, we've talked in depth on this channel, at least, about tradition versus liberty, because honor and piety are effectively tradition or liberty, but worse if you're going for a peaceful game. Piety, just because you essentially, all the bonuses you get from piety, you basically use to get back all of the bonuses that you would have had with tradition and on deity it's really really tough to get a religion that is so strong that once you've bought back everything you would have got for tradition you then have something left over afterwards to actually make use of piety that and frankly you could have had that religion just as good but also with tradition and spent the less amount of faith that you've had to um, get good stuff out of it so we we rule out piety straight away but we have talked about domination and when you're doing domination it is always worth thinking about honor the most important part about honor is it's probably only good if you don't think your game is going to get out of the medieval era. So if you think that your game is going to be done by the time you're exiting the medieval era and crossbowmen, so maybe like early renaissance era, something like that, you can take honor. You can take honor because if your cities don't need to, honor is objectively worse than traditional liberty, but it is best if your cities aren't going to make it to even the mid game. So if the game's not going to get to mid game, it's not going to get past renaissance era, you can happily take honor. Problem is, we're on deity. We're on quick speed. This game is going to need to go into the late game regardless because we can't kill all of the AIs. And by the mid we just don't have enough turns to do it while in the medieval era and before. So because we're going late game, we know we need to pick traditional liberty. Tradition's best if we don't see five or six luxuries we want to settle straight away. So let's just go straight away for that. We'll keep exploring. I do think we should take the scout and come down here with this other ruin. Um, you want to meet all your city-states immediately at the start of the game because you want to collect this 30 gold. You get 30 gold for being the first one to meet a city-state and you get 15 gold if you meet them after someone else has. All of this gold really adds up. We're going to be wanting to use this gold to pay for a lot of stuff. We might get lucky enough and we could even use this gold to buy a worker or buy a granary or something like that in our capital. Really valuable. If you can meet enough city-states first, you'll get tons and tons of... Here's another ruin. Archer ruin, nice. Um, you can get tons and tons of gold. Enough. See, we've got another. We've already had two gold ruins today. You can get enough. You can get enough gold that you might actually be able to buy something really valuable. So scouting is actually worth quite a lot in the early game to the point where, on Pangaea on standard map size, some people will recommend actually building three scouts so that you can get all of the benefits of that. Let's keep wandering around near Tyre. Just want to explore some of our local habitat. Hopefully. I'm hoping, hoping that we've got an AI on this side of our little mountain range because we could settle right in here for this marble and the copper probably. Like marble, copper, silver, something like that. Get our four luxuries for two cities and then we can go and kill an AI that's just off around about here somewhere. This hill shouldn't be too much of a problem because we can build a road across it and we've got horse archers which we can run across that, that whole path. We'll keep hunting around it. There's another ruin. Keep hunting around down here. I'm going to turn upwards now with a scout to try and see if there's an AI in that gap. Otherwise, we might have to do a bit of a... Maybe we'll kill a city-state early game or something. Pop ruin. Amazing. Whenever you get a pop ruin, that, that's brilliant. That's the ideal thing that you want in the early game. The question is, what do we want? What do we want our new population point to work? If any. And do we want to actually just stagnate and then go for a settler right away? Because I think we could probably do that. Only 46 gold needed to buy a granary straight out as well. Or 16 for another worker. Probably not going to get another settler because that's 166. But I feel like we can do this. We can just work this now and then basically go for stagnation until we get a settler. Maybe buy this gold tile so that we can maybe be working the most production we can while we're building settlers. And we'll do that straight away. 
Cool, let's go. Another policy in tradition. We've not built a monument right away, by the way, because we're hoping to get our monument with this policy and tradition here, legalism, free culture building in your first four cities. You can use that to get your monument for free. Uh, generally, if you're going tradition, you do not need to build monuments. Um, you can get your culture going good enough that you get legalism early enough that life is okay. Tried and tested formula for not wasting time building a monument. You will have more culture if you do that, but um, not getting that culture straight away in the game doesn't tend to be an issue. Sadly, I do want to start shooting this barb camp over here because it is going to cause problems for us. Ethiopia, hello. Already got copper. And we got free technology in the ruins. This calendar is never bad. Um, Ethiopia is here somewhere. There's a border. If this is Ethiopia's capital, I reckon we're going to be in good position for an early kill because this is all flat land. We can settle a city right in the middle between us and then go after Ethiopia's capital. 55 more gold. That's Addis Ababa. I think we have our target. See, check this out. Like, Addis Ababa's right here. This is not that many turns, especially once we get a city in the middle and we build a road between it. So I think that's absolutely ideal. We'll go in the forest here to shoot the barb camp because we do get extra defense for being in the forest. Just a small little thing that you can do. And we've had our production tile stood on here by the barbarian. It's trying to be a bit annoying. It is what it is. We can keep shooting this barb camp now. We are going to have to... I would love to improve the horses, but we can't do that. So let's instead cross the river here and go up, go up onto these hill tiles. And the idea with these hills is to chop down the forest to aid with our settler production. So let's go immediately get a settler. We can buy this and then work that. And we're working our maximum production right now. You can't starve when you're building settlers. So take off all your food and work the maximum production that you can. Right now we're getting plus 10. And let's go do that. Haddis Ababa is right here. Well, we know what we're going for. That is for sure. See if we can take out this barb camp. It might be a bit of an issue if we can't get a second unit back. Because that camp might just respawn a unit in it by the time our archer manages to clear it. But let's see if we can work on bringing our warrior or scout back for, for that. Don't know whether or not to buy out to this sheep with our gold. I don't think so because we can just buy another worker right now. And actually, let's just do that. <laughs> Yeah, see, this barbarian archer that spawned right in the middle is going to be a bit of a pain. I would love to get this warrior back, so let's see if we can bring it back through the mountain pass and take that ruin. Another pop ruin? Okay. I mean, we could buy a tile now. I'm, I'm inclined to just attempt to buy the barb camp. It's a bit rubbish. 60 gold, that's actually quite a lot. It is what it is. Let's move around. Let's see if we can convince this archer to go somewhere unhelpful. We do need to bring our units back too. That's really important for us. Should be able to get past that barb camp. The archers run away. So we can get back to shooting. Chop this forest down. I would go and chop this forest as well, but we're not going to get it completed in time to finish the settler. So I'm just going to work on um, doing this mine. We do have a slight issue which is that if this barb spawns a unit on specifically this tile, it'll be able to move two tiles and capture our worker. But if it does that, I'm quite confident we can kill it. I will move on here to chop this forest down, but only so that we can get production towards whatever we build next, which is probably going to be a granary. Iron tile here. Keep taking promotions. Keep moving back. This barb camp is empty now, which means that any barb that spawns in there should just stay in there, and that'd be good for us. We would quite like to get... We've got an archer, so let's get sailing and then move straight towards horse archers. We always want our two caravans to make sure our cities are strong in between our all of our war stuff. And we can take this immediately, so yay. And then move our settler out. We can stop starving and go back to working what we would do if we weren't doing that. Would like to buy this iron tile because it's a 2-1 tile. So it's one of the, the high priority tiles that we want to be working at the start of the game. Otherwise, we've got none left. So we're going to have to work this just two food, zero production tile. And then we can get started on... I'd love one more scout. And then let's go, get started on the granary. This is annoying. We'll back up one and then shoot it. 
We do actually have to make sure that our settler has an escort. <laughs> so that's the thing. Yeah, not great. And um, we'll use this scout to escort the settler past. And we will block like this. And then we can come down and improve this silver now. And we can come down here and I just want to get a three, a three food tile out. So let's do that. Keep taking our free monument. And just block. Whatever you do with your melee units in general, you don't want to be attacking with your melee units. You want to be going into like alert or fortify mode and taking attacks. Um, it's just a, no, it's a neat little way, especially when you're in no rush to kill something. A neat little way of just making sure that... We'll, oh, really? We can, well, we can kill it now at least. A neat little way of just making sure that you don't sustain too much damage. Because oftentimes your melee units are blocking to make sure your ranged units don't get attacked by your opponent's melee units. And essentially the faster your own melee units die, well the sooner your ranged units get attacked. You don't really want to help the AI in that regard. And I don't know if there's a combat bonus for defending, but might as well do that in case there is, I guess. Let's heal up. Want to heal this scout too. Borders grew to this iron down here as well. We need to make sure we're improving a lot of good tiles in our capital. The next big thing for getting hold of... I'll tell you what we do need to do. We need to go steal a worker from a city-state. So we'll go do that with priority. You know what I forgot to do? There's a question of whether or not here or on the copper is a better place for this city. Because we've got two cities, we don't need all four luxuries, so we don't technically need the marble. And I'd prefer this city to be on the copper because it saves us a bit of worker time. So I think with that in mind, we're going to go try and get on the copper as long as a barbarian doesn't pop up nearby to cause us any issues. So we're going to go straight up. For fortunately, we're going to be okay here because we'll only get shot and we can't die. And we'll go get ourselves a work. We are going to take this archer over to help deal with the camp. Though I don't think we'll need it. Then let's have this worker go improve our gold next. And we'll have this worker put one turn into a farm. But actually it's on the way to the... It should go to the horses. Now that I think about that. But let's take archery next. Because we get an extra production per pasture. So we're going to get two extra production by working the horses here. And we can found our city on the copper immediately switch sadly our only choice is a two food no production tile because that's the best one of our priority order there's no three food tiles there's no two food one production tiles so we're going to do that and actually i'm just going to keep bombarding this barb camp in the background go mid the city state it's antwerp hello Are there any more i'm hoping there's another city elsewhere i'd rather not hate like get antwerp to hate us and now let's immediately build our two caravans that we want. So we want to send one caravan from Attila's Court to Lublin. We want to send one caravan from Lublin back to Attila's Court. So we'll go do that now. We need a work out in Lublin desperately. Oh, there's a city-state border over there. So maybe we can go steal their worker. And in here, just work two food tiles, the best we've got. We're going to be able to take this barb camp out quite easily. Make sure we get ourselves another worker. I might want to get a fourth worker as well. Yeah, here we go. Vancouver's worker can definitely get taken. Let's shoot it and then just take it with our healed archer. Yeah, it would be really good to spend some gold to buy something like a horse tile here. Just so that city can get started. And we'll go to the wheel because that's where our horse archers are. We're going to want a load of those if we're going to attack Addis Ababa. Where is Vancouver's worker? It's in the city. Hmm. I mean, we might have to pillage a tile in order to get it to come out. It's in the city right now. Maybe there's another... There is another city-state along there that we could be going for. Otherwise, let's make sure to trade Venice's incense for our silver. That feels like a good deal. It's because the, the worker can't improve the tundra in Vancouver. That's why it's not come out. Almaty. Hello there. Another horse. Very nice. I mean, what's positive is that 
improve some tiles. We need to get a worker over to Lublin quite desperately. So we're going to go do that. And let's have, I guess, Almaty's worker. And then we can piece them immediately because otherwise we'll never make it out alive. We'll take the Landed Elite food policy and tradition next. You want to take Landed Elite if you can, because that food and plus 10% growth is really, really valuable. You want that as soon as possible. Sometimes you'll have to take Monarchy first if you're having happiness issues. Because we've settled on two luxuries and we've already improved our third, we've got 13 happiness, so we're absolutely fine. Then we are going to want to go for, I mean, maybe constru construction, maybe horseback riding. Uh, we're going to want to get some camps in case we need to build some camps, so let's take trapping next. Caravan done. Get a second one. Uh, need a worker. Build the worker first, maybe, and then get the second caravan. In fact, no, because we can get the caravan going immediately once it's built. So let's immediately send this caravan to Lublin. And get this worker heading on over to Lublin too. Don't need to be doing that now. Okay, so this game's gone well so far. Just need to be making sure to get our food trade routes up. Come on, worker, please come over. We've just about got enough workers going here in Attila's Court right now. Just because we're working all improved tiles, mostly. Um, and you want to be working all improved tiles if, if you can. And we're just about keeping up. We're definitely behind in getting all of our tiles improved. But um, the moment we get that second worker out, we're not going to have an issue. We pretty much improve a tile at the rate that we grow. So that'll do for now. And we're going to keep working two food zero production tiles because they're the best out of our little priority order thing that we do. There we go. And we've got a 2-1 tile, so we're working an improved tile now. Let's get the... We need to make sure we've got no barbarians spawning in our back lines. And I actually want to use the archer to do it. I've just moved the scout away to go watch, but we want to use the archer to do it because the archer can kill stuff which is going to make it much more valuable for managing those barbarians back there. And we're going to send the warrior out to do the same. Lublin grew. We really need this cattle tile, but we're going to get it next turn. So we'll just put it on a 2-0 tile for now. It's the best we've got. And we want to move over and improve the horses where we can. Take a turn to heal our scout here as well. Because the scout can move two tiles, but the worker only one and difficult to rain. We'll move two with a scout and then get a quick heal off with it. Immediately go on this tile. Excellent. I mean, Lublin's looking really good. And when we can start improving these pastures, it'll be even better. Let's keep an eye on barbarians behind us. And then next, because we're thinking about war, we have to go for construction so we can build coliseums if we need it. And let's use the scout to go have a look at what's going on in Addis Ababa. This can go to Lublin so that we can send it back to Attila's Court and then we'll build our fourth worker. And we'll use the fourth worker to maybe improve a tile, maybe two, and then immediately get started on a road to Lublin. And I think this worker that's coming to Lublin can get started on the road back. Nothing's going on in Addis Ababa at all. It's weird. So like, judging by their unique abilities i would not normally be thinking about killing ethiopia because ethiopia gets a bonus um to combat strength for is it a bonus to combat i forget exactly the special ability now in ethiopia but it's got a... it's something like a bonus to city combat strength in your own cities if you've got fewer if you've got fewer cities than your opponent or something like that thankfully we only have two cities i guess so if it's a city-based thing it's not going to be an issue and we're back to almost working all improved tiles in Attila's Court, which is great. Yeah, I think when our new worker comes out, let's improve one tile. Maybe let's make it this iron tile so that we can be sure we're working all improved tiles and then just go for it. Here in Lublin, Battering Ram. Why not? Because the Battering Rams have worse movement, I want to try and build all of our Battering Rams out of Lublin and all of our Horse Archers out of Attila's Court. There's a Barbarian. There must hope probably a camp down here bothering Antwerp. In fact, it is being bothered by barbarians. And then this worker continue moving back. Let's get this scout to heal. I want to improve this cattle and then we'll go with this worker, I think, to build the road.
both cities improved. Don't really want to improve the iron just because I don't think we're going to be working it yet. So let's come across here and get another 2-1 tile. Just because, again, it kind of doesn't fit the order of precedence. They're, you know, we want to be working three food tiles, two food, one production tiles, two food tiles, or one food, two production tiles. This iron doesn't really fit the order of precedence, so we're not going to do that. Let's get a trade-off with Theodora. Salt for silver. Me Should be able to kill this archer now. There's the barb camp. Heal the scout. Oh, the Aztecs. Hello. Aztecs wants horses. We only have four right now, but we are just about to improve some. And it's never bad to get an extra gold per turn. So we'll sell him one. We're about to get two more horses here. And then two horses there. So hopefully selling the one isn't too bad. Heal again, we don't really want to be taking. Because we don't know if this barb camp is going to spawn another unit. And then if these two units will now attack our warrior and kill it. We don't want our HP to be low enough that we're going to be vulnerable to a one turn kill. And in fact, that's probably the most important thing to remember about, about this kind of stuff. Is you actually want to be making sure that the thing about using melee units to attack is that if you attack, you now take damage. If you take damage, your HP is lower. When your HP is lower, your melee unit is vulnerable to a one-turn kill. And we don't want to be vulnerable to a one-turn kill down here. So and we're not going to be attacking with our melee unit. We're going to be blocking instead. Move this arch over. Next turn, I think we'll be able to kill it all in one go. Or if we don't kill it all in one go, it will be low enough that there shouldn't be an issue. I actually need to improve that other horse's tile. Kind of need to manage this barb camp down here. But hopefully that barb camp will be spawning units into the two city-states. Question is, does which one does Antwerp want killed? That one. Well, let's de delete this barb camp because it's the one that's going to be causing us issues. Wait till next turn to deal with that barb camp. And then we'll go improve those horses there. Yeah, we're just going to need to stand around on some of our most important tiles. Let's actually keep building the road with this worker. I actually don't see a reason to stop road building. We're not going to need the road until we're already at war, really, because that's when it's going to make an issue for all of our units to get over. So right now, it's not too bad because we're not too dependent on wanting to get our units over fast. Clear the camp. 16 more gold. And then we'll maybe post those two units up somewhere in our south to stop barbarian camp spawning there. I haven't been managing this, but we want to do the thing where we work our two food tiles because there's no other better ones in our priority order. I want to sit on this hill. But if we do that, these barbs might start attacking our scout and our scout absolutely can't fight back. <laughs> we have actually more than enough horses, I think. And I don't think horses are going to be an issue for us. Tiller's Court's grown again. We're not... And we can be back to working all improved tiles, except for this iron, so that's great. In fact, forgot this, and that isn't great. So let's work... Let's work this tile, because we might improve that. There's just a barb camp. I mean, if we can kill that barb camp, that'd be quite good. Let's send the archer over, and we'll post this warrior up on one of these hills. Uh, we're posting the warrior up on a hill, because you get better vision from being on top of a hill. And we now desperately need to start building this road to Lublin from the other side. Once we get a few horse archers and battering rams, we'll start thinking about what we need to do to, like, how we want a position to take Addis Ababa. Just have a bit more of a look. Oh, Poland, hello. Build another battering ram, because that's what we're building here. And let's just queue up, because we know we're going to want them. Queue up like four horse archers and forget about it. And queue up at least a third battering ram here. And forget about it. Now we've got construction. Engineering would be good because it means that we can go... We can do bridges over rivers, which is going to help our movement. We also need to make sure that we have libraries when we want it. So let's get writing so we can have libraries when we want it. And then let's take engineering after that for bridges over rivers. And I guess uh, with this, we'll hide. We'll hide with the scout, but we'll be near. 
and then we'll get up on this hill for the extra vision. Really want to finish this, so let's do that. And in fact, because we've got enough workers to concentrate on the road now, I don't think we need to use that worker to worry about the road. Battering ram done. Probably do need to think about how we want to approach Addis Ababa now. The best way feels like along this bottom section here, a really like clean run in and get our ranged units along these two tiles here because there's a river in the way. And if there's a river in the way, we don't want to jump across the river and then lose all of our movement for jumping across a river. So if we can get ranged units on these two tiles here and then everything else comes across the bottom. So maybe two or three units on this left hand side of the river so that we've got units around on this section. Otherwise we'll come from this side and towards Addis Ababa from the bottom. Seems to be building a wonder here. Or is that already built? Terracotta army? When did they build that? I mean, thankfully, they've built Terracotta army early, which means all they got is a load of workers and archers. Otherwise, Terracotta army would be a painful thing if they had a load of composite bowmen and swordsmen. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have moved the battering ram so close. Because that's a little bit sus right now. <laughs> Not going to lie. It's a little bit sus. Our borders are expanding to these horses. I want to work them right away because we're preparing for war. So let's do that. Keep moving the archer over. We're getting in position so that we can move one and then shoot with the archer on this camp. We can do that because this was an upgrade from a scout. So it retains the movement of a scout even if it looks like an archer. There we go, another improved tile that we're working. Working all improved tiles really, really important. I can't stress it enough. Let's back away so we don't look sus. Because <laughs> we don't want to say, nah, we're not going to war you, Ethiopia, and then war them two turns later. We don't want to do that. And we start on this side of the river. So I actually want to prep by getting these two units on, on the bottom side of the river here. And then we should actually be checking to see if we can get some AIs to declare war on Ethiopia with us. So I don't know who their neighbours are. And one benefit of getting writing is that we can now do embassies. So we can have a look to see where all of the AI are. Some people like selling your embassy in the early game. You can sell your embassy for like two gold per turn to the AI. Perfectly fine thing to do. But I don't like then buying embassies back. And like money now better than money later and all of that. But... Salute. So it's probably viable. However, yeah, and we can maybe take, we'll take embassies with Ethiopia too. Did we already give away our embassy? Oh, they, they don't have writing. Ethiopia, you don't have writing. Come on, come on now. Can we get Poland to declare war on them? They actually will do it. And they'll do it for silver as well. Do we have another silver we can improve? Yes, yes we do. Yeah, okay. Let's get Poland to declare war on Ethiopia for probably just for silver. We can't afford to give away the horses. Okay. And then let's try using some of our gold next because we do want to keep our horses if we can. We should have enough anyway. That cost us four horses, but we still have three left. That's ideal because that's going to distract some of Ethiopia's units. We are going to need to be a bit careful, but we're going to have two battering rams nearby. Oh. I've done the wrong movement here, so we're going to have to go back and do that again. We are going to have two battering rams nearby fairly quickly. So just in case it becomes a bit of a they're getting a little bit close to the capital. We're going to have units nearby that we can use. We, I do want to take a couple of their cities, but it does look like Ethiopia has at least three. In fact, we can check here. They've got four cities. So we want to at least take a couple. So that's going to be fine. We're not going to lose out on a city by accident if Casimir takes one or two. And that's an ideal thing. If you can get an AI to declare war on an AI that you want to attack, that is ideal. We'll move into block with a scout now that our archer could be exposed to the melee unit. Let's get... We should be able to attack from this side of Addis Ababa with that unit. So let's do that. And we'll continue maneuvering around to get into position a bit. And with this battering ram, we want to make it so that this battering ram is three tiles away from Addis Ababa and can move to be being next to it at the start of the declaration of war. Right now, we're not doing that because we're not ready to declare war. But when we are, that's what we want to do. So, like, it starts that turn not being able to be shot at by Addis Ababa and then immediately moves into range to be shot at. 
essentially you want to reduce the amount of time that you're going to be under fire by the AI city with, with your units that you're going to be using to capture the city. And then we'll block with the scout now. Second battering ram. They've got, it's got absolutely nothing. We just need to give it some time for all of the units to move away towards Poland. We'll just go here and stand in the marsh, I guess. See, we want because we want to get this battering ram maybe on this, and then a second battering ram on this, and then they can both move straight in next to Addis Ababa. Is that, we have to actually be careful, because um, line of sight is going to be an issue from down here. Yeah, line of sight will be an issue from down here. So actually... I wonder what we do. We'll, we'll figure it out. It should be fine, but line of sight is a potential problem. Road is now complete, and we're going to complete a road with this work, which means we can get back to just improving stuff around Lublin with this. And Attila's Court done. We have grown, and we should again do the thing. We do have a little bit of spare gold. Would love to buy this tile, because at least then we're working a decent one. And that fits. It's fourth in the priority order. That's a horseman. That's really dangerous. So we are going to run away so that they can't see it. <laughs> Horsemen will just annihilate us completely. Now that we've got our second battering ram nearby, we are basically ready to declare war. We just need to make sure that we've got a couple of horse archers around. And we'll have four next turn, so I think next turn we'll do the declaration. Again, just need to make sure that we're not making it look like we, we're obviously going to war at Ethiopia straight away. road done now too can we come back yep the horseman's left perfect <laughs> tactical and then we'll bring this worker back and start improving some of our civil service farm tiles and then we do need to get this mine improved but it's not urgent would love to cut this down for production have we got enough to declare war in ethiopia now so we are going to come in I wonder if we could just try and get someone else to war Ethiopia too. Like maybe if the Aztecs will do it. No. Any chance we can... No, we don't have anything to convince Ethiopia to war someone else. So let's go in now. And then we can start, I guess, moving in. I want to take this tile to... Like, move in on... Okay, there's a warrior. We should prioritize taking out units first if we can. And we'll get our battering rams into position to do that one move thing like I mentioned earlier. That's the unit gone. We prioritize killing units because those, because we can, essentially, we're trying to stop them from shooting back. So the less they can shoot back at us, the better. And that's why we prioritize going after units. We should have just enough, I'm hoping. There's Ethiopian scout here. Hopefully it doesn't come after our worker. It didn't. It actually came for our scout. How are we going to get out of here, though? Maybe take survivalism, because we need the defense. And let's back up again, because this horseman has shown up. Cut that down. Do that. And keep building a road here. We've taken a big hit straight away. Um, but we can do the thing where we move in now and immediately start shooting the city with our horse archers. I don't want to lose this, so we're going to back... And we can immediately back up into our territory to start healing from next turn. Battering rams can actually come in straight away. And because we've got a third one coming, I'm tempted to do that. Let's go straight in. Got another horse archer too. I don't know what we're doing with the scout yet. I think it's here just in case we need a unit to take the city. So it can just hang out. <laughs> Sure, we'll be friends with Venice. I don't really like doing too many friendships, but... Yeah, this battering ram has taken a lot of heat. We can at least pillage. Once again, we'll keep prioritizing killing units where we can. Can we get this horse archer in to... If we complete this road, can we get this horse archer in to shoot that? No, but let's get up on the hill anyway. And then bring another battering ram. It's a shame we couldn't kill that. 
This ram's going to die. So let's do some damage to the city while we got the chance. Build another battering ram here. Could do with improving that tile, but we don't need to right now. So let's bring this back to the capital so that we can start improving more tiles around there. I want to see if we can shoot this scout somehow. So we'll keep backing up and moving around. Might have been a bit premature with moving in the battering rams because they are going to take some hits now. Thankfully, right here we can... We can actually instant heal. I don't want to do that because we can pillage. So let's... What can we do here? Any way that we can... Keep working on a road. We just need to heal this horse archer, really. Let's prioritize killing the units. So that's that gone now. Keep shooting Addis Ababa. Move in. Don't really want to slam into it this turn. Or do we? The last one probably only died quite a lot because... It took a shot from that composite bowman as well. Keep spamming horse archers while we can. Might need, might be able to stop production soon, which is the only reason I haven't immediately queued up to there. I mean, <laughs> we're really not doing anything to that scout, but that's okay. We're training. We'll call it training. Yeah, another comp bow. It's, slightly, it's getting slightly dicey with losing these... Um, battering rams here. They do a lot of damage to the city, though. Keep healing. Now the horse archer to come in and keep trying and do some damage. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this battering ram out for now until we have two more. Because we're actually doing quite a lot of damage to the city just with the horse archers. So I don't think there's any reason to be losing battering rams so frivolously here. Get improving some of these hills up here in time for civil service. Yeah, because we can just shoot the city with the horse archers. So let's do that. And we'll just like stand here bombarding it. No real issues. This horse archer... We could go up on here and then pillage, but I don't want to lose it. So let's bring it back and we can actually switch it with this one now because that's mostly healed. Then this battering ram can move out and we'll keep working on our road. If I just cross the river. Oh, no, it's up a hill. My bad. Incense and silver with Venice. So we need to get that trade back. Salute. Doesn't matter that we only have one copy of silver because we have ambitions to get more. I'm going to build one more horse archer and maybe one more battery ram and that just should be everything we need. Improve this iron now because why not? We might be able to sell it. We're at the point where we've got enough. We're working enough of our like viable tiles. Either. We're working all improved tiles actually apart from this one sheep up there. And we've got enough. We're working basically nine all improved tiles which is absolutely ideal. That's what we want to see. Lublin. Now, this production isn't bad for now because we are building battering rams. Is a 1-1 tile better? Maybe. So maybe let's just do that. We need to be working on some more improved tiles there to bring our general over. We've just spawned a general. You never know when those are helpful in wars. Don't be... um, Don't hold yourself back. If you need to like use the generals, just like drop them down and build a citadel as part of a war. Absolutely do that. We will spend all of our stuff this turn attempting to kill this. Oh, don't tell me we're going to be one shot short. How Are we going to be able to move some guys here? We are. Let's step there so we can shoot it once there. Because then we can get this horse archer in and shoot there. And we're going to stay out of range just for one more turn and begin working. We'll get philosophy so that we can have our national college and just click on... We have philosophy for national... And then in case we need a horseman, and then civil service. Just going to keep shooting this scout. <laughs> for no reason other than just to be annoying. Bombs. This has done a thing here. 
heal you, you're healing already. Need to be, probably want to improve the silver. So let's do that. Keep building our roads. Heal the scout. I mean, next turn, we're definitely moving the battering rams in next to Addis Ababa. It will be low enough that we should be able to just run into it and kill it with the battering rams. Starting to have some... I was going to say issues. We're not really having any issues, but we do need to make sure to shoot some units here. Because it's brought some units over, I guess from the Poland War. Yes. What do we do? They might target a horse archer. Um, if we just stay like this. So let's do that. Because... If they do that, then our battering rams are going to be in completely unscathed. And we should just be able to do a lot of damage to the city. Let's do this just in case we can kill it. Nice. Got a general. Never know when they're going to be useful. Bring it over. And improve the silver. It's taking some time. It's because we're not being able to use the battering rams to slam the city. But we can now. I wonder if we prioritise killing it here. Three, two units that can slam into it if we actually kill it. Because I reckon we can kill this city this turn. It should be fine. Actually, let's do this. Two, three... Definitely dead. So let's take it. Create a puppet. Very nice. And then move in and just get a shot on this swordsman. Because <laughs> we really do need it. And I don't mind losing a couple of horse archers here. To ensure that this city is ours. But I really don't think it's going to be. Not if we weaken this swordsman a bit more. And then come around here like this, maybe. Bublin's grown again. Uh, we can't really afford to keep working that. We might as well do this now, though. Because I think that's just like a slightly better layout of tiles. Horse Archer, I actually want one more, just in case. Because we might want to take another city. We are unhappy now. That has been a thing that happened. Because we need to improve this silver. There was a reason for that. This barb camp is still here. We'll wait here with the worker. And this trade route can continue going to Lublin. Would like to send it to Addis Ababa, but not yet. Once our gold. I guess it's a spare gold. We also have a spare copper. So we could sell one. Yeah, we didn't lose Addis Ababa. Perfect. Yeah, I didn't think that two units slamming into the city would be enough to do it. And actually, because they focused the city, we haven't even lost any units. Amazing. Okay. So that is Addis Ababa. It's ours. It's got Buddhism religion. And it's got two uses. Buddhism. Culture from pastures for Buddhism. Sure. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> Let's go. And then let's see if we can have one of these other Ethiopian cities. Because we probably do want four. We definitely don't need any more units. So let's stop with that. And we will build libraries. And libraries and go straight for National College. Let's have a look at what we kept in Addis Ababa, by the way. Terracotta Army and a water mill, so it's okay. But it does mean we need to rush for National College now. Our happiness is going to be just fine as soon as we improve this iron. So that's not an issue. This <laughs> settler's running. Or settler worker is running. And I would like to take it. We... Our next growth point here, we can work that tile. I realise that we're unhappy. And because we're unhappy, technically, working any food is worthless. But it's only going to be like one turn. Is this war with Poland still going on? Yeah. That's good because that's going to be distracting some of their units. I wonder if we can take this city over here too. But we'll see what we've got left. Once we're done with the rest of this war. 
This swordsman needs to be dealt with, but we need to focus fire swordsmen. They are a, a challenge, let's say, for our units. So what have we got that doesn't need to heal right now? I'm just moving the battering rams out of the way. Because they are a bit in the way right now. Trying to see how we how is best to attack this warrior here. I think the best way to do it is just going to be to come in here like this. And then like this. And then that's the warrior dead. And then we'll wait till we can focus fire that swordsman. Hopefully Ethiopia will just send in to their death. And we won't have to worry about it. And these battering rams can shuffle. Keep building the road. The battering rams can shuffle. We are going to want to like move in fairly quickly. Going to bring this archer back over here so we can try and manage this barb camp again. There we go. We're happy once more. And we can probably sell this iron. More civil service farms to unlock. And our last horse archer. We've got three battering rams, so we do have plenty. We'll follow Buddhism. Culture from pastures. Amazing. And we'll just sit and wait. We'll try and see if we can draw in just a couple of other units. And then we'll see about moving on to this other city. <laughs> Venice is not having a good time. They're not at war with anyone. I'll refuse. Um, but I want to give... Only because I want to give them silver or copper. Yeah, now maybe can we focus fire on this swordsman? Or do we have to let it come in a bit further? I don't want to waste time not attacking Ethiopian units because if we do that they might get a chance to build up again and that's the last thing we want to happen there's a deer here let's just get that it's a granary resource this horseman come on like that horseman could get annoying so I'm going to send just going to start preemptively shuffling some units a little bit Okay. We're just going to have to eat some fire from this. Oh, that is... I was wondering if that tile was going to be next to Hurrah. We are just going to have to eat some, eat some fire from this swordsman here in order to kill it. We're doing a reasonable amount of damage because it's on flat ground. Swordsmen really present you an issue on Civ 5 when you're using chariot archers when they get onto a hill or in a forest. But if they're not in a hill or in a forest, they don't present so much of a problem. Take a caravan. Free. Battering rams. So maybe we send the battering rams in through, like, across this river here like that. So we get a couple of battering rams on that side of the river here. And then maybe one from this direction somewhere. Keep moving our missionary over. We'll convert Attila's court as well to the deity religion. This is a low-key useful trick you should try and follow up if you can on deity. Holding on to your own religion is an absolute pain. It's why I've... I used to recommend building early shrines actually, but I've stopped doing that recently. And it's exactly because of this. It's just so difficult to keep your own religion versus deity AI. You're just so much better off um, trying to take on a good AI religion. Look at that. We didn't even have to take any hits from that swordsman and it's running away. Let's do this. Oh, Kilimanjaro. Okay. These, hopefully this is enough to kill it. It is. That's the swordsman dealt with. Let's get into position with our battering rams. Cross the river. And then get here. Like that. Do we start attacking Hurrah this turn? Not with this, because this is her. It doesn't have any units in the city. So if we fortify it might just live and then where do we need? we need to get onto this tile over here with the other battering ram so we'll keep moving over build a road these horse archers are alive now where's this horseman gone don't know i mean i'm happy it's not harassing our lands that is for sure don't really want to pillage there. Might see if I can steal a worker. And these horse archers should be fine to do things. So let's just get them on the other side of this river. And then see what we want to do after that. 
Move the general up one. And we'll, we'll move in to start shooting next turn. Okay. So, move across the river here. Step in here. Step in here. Move forward one here. And then shoot. And we'll step over. And we'll take this tile. Build a road here. Shame we can't do anything with it yet, but it does exist. And then these horse archers. So this battering ram wants to go right there. This battering ram wants to go right there. And then that is going to give some room. Can we not actually shoot over to the city from there? We can't. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. I guess we'll just chill then. <laughs> we will step forward one here though and shoot hurrah. And this horse arch... I think this is doing okay because it's only lost four hit points as an overall from that turn. Build our national college now. And build a Colosseum, I think. We want a Colosseum and then a Caravan. Just because we do need to manage our happiness in the state that we're currently in. And then to get Venice to like us a bit more, maybe let's give them some copper. Sure. Just for free. They wanted it earlier, so we'll do it now. I don't know what happens to that horseman, but we're going to work on this barb camp and see if we can get a free worker from it. Whatever happened to the horseman, it's disappeared. See if we can steal that caravan off Ethiopia too. We do have a lot of gold. I mean, we could keep doing that trade. Someone's got gems. Our Montezuma had gems momentarily. Don't want to attack Poland. Okay, we can take the caravan. Oh dear. Horse archer. We could get March to heal every turn, but I also just think... To take accuracy three here. No need to overthink it. Accuracy three is the one you want. So we might as well just have it. Move around and continue taking shots at hurrah. I moved this here so that we could get up onto this hill and then shoot hurrah from there. We'll take the settler and claim a new worker. Oh. This is so much damage. Let's just do it. Because we've got three battering rams. Let's just do this. No need to overthink that either. And we'll keep healing this horse archer so that he can keep taking Hurrah's attention. Shoot. And then, if this is Antwerp's worker, we'll give it back. Because they've got a quest for this. And we'll immediately... It's Vancouver. So, let's take it. No, yeah. Van Vancouver was hostile. And because... Vancouver. Oh, we can, we can let the Barbarian <laughs> take the worker back. <laughs> oh, IP. Any better tiles to be worked here? I don't think so. And no better tiles to be worked here yet either. Just waiting to finish tradition so we can get our free aqueducts everywhere. We absolutely want to be sending food to Attila's Court. We do need to be sending food to Addis Ababa, but it's not yet time to annex it because we need to get our National College built first. I don't want to be friends with Poland because they're seen as an aggressor. <laughs> now, it may be our fault. It may be our fault that Poland is an aggressor. But they are seen as an aggressor right now. Let's just shoot here with a few units. Cover two, I guess. We want to take the city with this other battering ram. We lost our worker! No! Probably should actually run away here. <laughs> Not going to lie. <laughs> Work the production for a bit just because we are struggling for happiness. And then we just need to build our happiness buildings everywhere. Oh, don't need to build this road now. Whoops. Any stuff we can... We can steal Zurich's first with our great general. You never know when they're going to be useful. You never know. And let's have some workers. Oh, we can take... Can we take two? <laughs> oh, the absolute dream. There we go. We'll take two workers. We've got too many workers now. We've got eight. So I think we're good for workers. Just just like a... Just a feeling. Just got a feeling we're good for workers. Let's go improve this, this pasture so we can get the extra production from it because we're the Huns. Okay. Now... I mean, becoming friends with Antwerp is going to be great for happiness. 
if we can get hold of gems, that would be perfect. I know Montezuma had some. If there's any way we can convince him to part ways with his gems. Let's do it. No. Anyone else got any gems? Let's use the one of these diplomacy screens to do it. See if anyone else has got some gems. Because if we can get gems from someone, we're going to be allies with Antwerp and that will solve our happiness issues. No. No one else seems to have gems. Any chance Vancouver had gems? No, it's got furs. I mean, we're going to take the furs, so we're going to... We're going to solve our happiness issues somewhat. And then let's go and see what this other city for Ethiopia is down here. And let's actually get one of our spare horse archers to go and do it. <coughs> Need to improve some tiles now. What should we improve? We haven't pillaged too much. We just need to get this city set up for civil service. So we'll do that by improving some farms. And did it keep a library? No, but it does have a granary and a coliseum. So that's not bad. I don't really want a lumber mill. Chopping that forest down isn't going to be useful to us right now. Let's just finish this road. It's not necessary, but let's just finish the road. And there's our free aqueducts everywhere. Amazing. And we get them in the cities we've conquered. This city has a library now. So we can annex it. Cover. Promotion. Let's just see if we can see what we can see around here. I don't really want to get shot. Oh, Lalibella. Okay. Uh, is Lalibella any good? It's got a new unique luxury. And we could just keep it as a puppet for a while. Let's just chill here. I mean, reducing Ethiopia to just Lalibella... It, it could, be, could be a fine thing to do, but it's a new unique luxury and Kilimanjaro. And it's got a river. And we're going to be running. We have gold, copper, silver. And then we're also going to be having furs and wine. So yeah, why, let's just kill Ethiopia. Why not? Shoot that barb. We'll see what we can do with it. Because we've got the like units, we might as well. And then, I think that'll be us mostly good for... The, I, it would be great to expand, border expand to this marble. We need to get back to Lublin now and improve some tiles. And work on our happiness building. So let's just move. Since we know that we're going to try and try and take this city, let's just take a turn to heal. But any of our healthy units can make their way over. We actually need to make sure we've got a work in position to take the furs off Zurich. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. And then let's move some of our horse archer units into the correct positions for if we want to do this war. We've already got a unit over here, so. And let's go. And here we're on the copper, which we've already got. We've already got roads, so civil service farm tiles. No peace treaty. We're going to make sure to complete this kill. And then I think that will get us to the end of the first part of this walkthrough. <laughs> I mean, we'll just back up into our own territory and heal, I think. Here's a battering ram. Here is the tile that the battering ram wants to be on so that it can move in next to Lalibella and attack immediately. This battering ram wants to... Where does it want to go? There might not be a good choice for the other one. No, this tile right there is the one. So let's make our way over. Let's, because we're going to move in, we might as well move in and start shooting. Not sure where the AI units went here. This is going to go very quickly. It's a shame we can't use all three battering rams to attack. And we will steal the improved furs from Zurich. Sorry, Zurich. <laughs> you never know when those citadels are going to come in handy. We've grown here. Should work the production just for now. Because we do have a happiness issue. 
I'm saving gold because I'm thinking we annex Addis Ababa and then immediately use the gold to buy a courthouse. And then that will resolve our happiness issues. Oh, that worker got taken back. <laughs> okay, and then we can leave this scout out to patrol our lands for barbarians. Improve tiles around Addis Ababa. Let's improve this stone. And then we can keep scouting. Not sure where's best for this horse archer yet, so we'll leave it there. We're going to keep healing this battering ram. It's not going to be necessary, but he wants to attack Poland as well. We've actually lost a horse archer. It doesn't matter if we're losing units now, because we know we're done with wars after this. And then battering ram on that tile there. And then let's keep moving in. Hmm... We'll do the wholesale move in of the battering rams next turn, but then that is going to be Ethiopia dead. <laughs> I don't want to chop this forest down yet because that's um, it's not going to benefit Hurrah's production if we do that, because Hurrah can't produce anything because it's still in resistance. Let's heal. Nice. This is shaping up rather nicely. I want to improve this horse next because it's production. And then let's wait one more turn for this battering ram. We were going to build a caravan somewhere. That needs to happen. Yeah, Lalibella's got this. This composite bowman in Lalibella is going to continue to be a problem for us. But I think we're going to have enough firepower to take it down now that we've got the two battering rams here. Because next, these battering rams could al already kill it if they were within shooting range. So I don't think we've got any problems. And now we want to go and improve these horses because we've got the Hunnic special ability. Not annexing Addis Ababa yet, just because I want to get the gold from capturing that city so that we can immediately buy the courthouse. I don't know if that's a good thing or not to be waiting, but better to make it guaranteed. We'll keep going for civil service farms because we are going to get civil service in just a couple of turns. And let's see this combo. Okay. One shot, two shots, three shots, four shots, battering ram. And that is Ethiopia gone. Goodbye, Ethiopia. Saddens me to see the spirit of the wicked continues to cast its shadow on the world. May you find your own peace before you leave your people to destruction. Thank you very much, Ethiopia. We have found peace. Thank you very much. <laughs> Great puppet. And we're still happy, even better. Got a market. <laughs> we only have two cities right now. We've got 429 gold. Let's annex Addis Ababa because it does have a library. So it's not going to... And it doesn't have a Colosseum yet, but that's fine. Okay. 21 gold for a courthouse. Surely we can get that from Venice. Uh, answer is yes, we can. In fact, we can sell... Venice wants... It wants horses and it wants iron. So let's sell... How much can we get for a horse? Like 37? Is that how much they go for? It is. Okay, well that's enough for our courthouse. And we buy the courthouse immediately and now we're up to two happiness. So that's great. Um, next, production focus. For the production focus trick. And what all of our three food tiles that we can find. We only have one. So that's all we've got, but we'll lock the horse because we're looking for our two food, one production tiles next. So in this case, we have some two food, two and three production tiles. Then for our last one, pop it straight on the horse there. No production, need a monument. That always has to be the first thing. Then like Granary Circus Coliseum, something like that. We need to improve the wine in Lalibella. So actually, because this work is closest, let's just run it straight over. And we'll use one of these workers that wasn't doing anything to eventually come back for the horse. Circus done here. We'll get a stable next because that is going to be a massive production increase. And you know what? No, we're not. Because we need a caravan. Caravan. Because they are so, so, so important. And then maybe just improve some three food tiles around until it's caught. We're so ready for civil service when it comes. Like, so ready. Six turns. Our gold's an issue, but that should get solved as we delete units 
don't need a battering ram anymore, so we'll delete the battering rams. In fact, we can just delete... I'm going to gift this battering ram, actually, to um, Antwerp. Because we might as well improve our relations with them. So there we go, Antwerp's got a battering ram. If we start getting units inside our own cities, that's going to save us money too. And that's what we can do with the rest of these horse archers that we have. And then work on collecting Lalibella up to our empire. Look at all these roads. Why? <laughs> oh, those roads are so unnecessary, but it's great. We can afford to keep growing for now. Because we're going to get this wine online. And then we can build a Colosseum and a Circus in our capital as well. So we definitely can afford to keep growing. Not an issue. What do we want to work? What do we want? Just to quickly improve a couple of tiles in Attila's Court. We have enough, more than enough workers. So I don't think workers is going to be a problem. Keep scouting with the scout. And then this worker come over to keep improving some civil service farms. Same with you. Hurrah! We can now actually finish chopping this down because we are actually building a library there. Amazing. Rest of our units. One in Hurrah. One's in Addis Ababa. One in Lublin. And one in Attila's Court. And then you can come sit right here. Um, and this scout can go explore the world. And this can, I guess, just sit in Lalibella. So there we go. And now we're saving a load of gold. because, And we're saving this gold because of tradition. Something like, I think it's opening. Where is it in tradition here? Garrison units cost no maintenance. And cities with a garrison gain plus 50% range combat strength. That's why we did that. But that looks like to have been a very successful early war. We have a five city Hunnic Empire. Including a complete kill of Ethiopia. And well, three stolen cities. <laughs> amazing. This is a great city by the way. Hurrah is amazing. It's got a granary, a coliseum, a circus, an aqueduct, a workshop. What? Can we annex this thing? Unhappiness will increase by four. Man, we need a... Because it's building a library, it's fine. We'll wait three turns and then we'll annex it and build a courthouse. I think that's what we'll do there. Need to correct our gold problem. So I wonder where is best to start working some more gold. The, the one benefit of calendar luxuries is that you can work them for gold without having to, um, without having to like wreck your city's growth because calendar luxuries tend to have two food on them. Where we've got all mining luxuries, those are great, but it's really difficult to work a mining lux. Really, really difficult. I mean, we're going to get some units in cities and that's going to help a ton. So maybe that's the way. And if we can get gems. If we can get gems. Copper. Five iron. For your gems. Maybe let's. As the last thing we do in this episode. Let's have a look at. Can we get a load of Venice's money? If we sell Venice. Two for 74 here. Nice. And then we can sell Venice another two for 74. What we're looking to do is build up a bit of a gold buffer so that we can maybe even like immediately purchase a courthouse in Harar or something. We can then sell the horses for two gold per turn each because so we no longer have any need for the horses and do this cheese. And then cheese away all of our iron. Actually, he doesn't want to do it probably because he doesn't like us because we're a dirty warmonger, <laughs> which is absolutely true. Does not even going to deny it. It's true. Two for three. Yeah. We'll keep doing some two for three deals for a bit. I don't really want to give away much to Poland. I'd much rather be giving away two for three to Arabia. Because <laughs> they're a lot further away from us. So let's do that. We're not getting one for two because the AIs don't like us because we've got warmonger penalties. Maybe Byzantium will do it. Two for three. No, oh, fuss. We'll just, we'll just give it to Poland. Don't re didn't really want to give it to Poland because they could declare war on us and would rather they don't have a load of swordsmen. But honestly, 
they might just have a load of swordsmen anyway. Also, we have been at war with the same foes, so I'm hoping that's going to count for us for a bit. Because, yeah, Poland, yeah, we fought together against a common foe, and they're going to like us for that. That's a big deal in, in the AI world. And then can we please get your gems? Yes, he wants everything we've got. Do we... Is there any way that we can get this done with, like, this? No. Can we get any more gold per turn by giving away horses to someone? So maybe we can go, like, two for three? Yes, we can. That, that might get us a little bit more. Can we do some more two for threes with Ash Ashurbanipal? Because... Taking the city-state, I would like to take the city-state and feel the happiness benefit from it, if at all possible. And if we can get Montezuma's gems with all of our gold, we'll be feeling that happiness benefit. So let's maybe offer him like 10, and then just keep putting this number up by 1 until it works. And we can throw open borders in as well, because that doesn't cost us any money. Wow, okay. Oh, we've got more gold. I thought we only had 16 to play with. Come on. There we go. Okay, we got it through. We've got Montezuma's gems, which means we're going to complete Antwerp's quest for gems. Then we're going to be friends with a mercantile city-state that's friendly. And that's important, because if they're friendly, your influence with them decays less. And we're going to get their porcelain. Because we already have furs, so the furs weren't going to be unique, because we stole it from Zurich. And there we go. We are allies with Antwerp. With 80 influence, that's great. It only goes down at 1.25 per turn. And we've got until 60 before it decays to nothing. That's really good. And they're giving us porcelain. And because we're allies, we're getting two happiness from them as well. Because they're a mercantile city-state. We were giving stuff to Poland, were we? I think we were giving away our last copy of silver for something. Would like to hold on to our silver now. Because we might be able to use it for trade later. Put this on alert. And then our horse archers were making their way over, weren't they? This can go into Lublin. And then we can put this one that's standing right next to Addis Ababa in Addis Ababa. Fix the horse. And then this is the one that wanted to guard this territory right here. And worker, please improve this tile. <laughs> nice. Ben has got any more money? Only 38. That's fine. We could give away our furs now for something. I really know what. Because we do have an extra copy thanks to allying Antwerp for a minute. But also, we need civil service farms big time. Production for Hurrah. We do need to link up Lalibella to our road network eventually, but it doesn't need to be done now. Build some mines and... Here we go. Here is our empire at the end of the first episode of this walkthrough. I hope it was helpful. I think the most important part for doing this is we wanted to do domination. So it's really, really nice to get one AI out of the way early. And we followed the, I call it like a tried and true tested of a chariot archer and catapult rush. Where you only build one city for yourself. If you, if you build three cities, you're going to cost your capital too much. Your capital is going to be a bit too weak to do it. So you build two cities and then you spam chariots and you spam catapults and you get like one or two melee units just to eventually capture a city with. Scouts can even do the job if you want. Only problem with scouts is they could get killed in one turn. Horsemen, pretty good for sniping cities like that. And But we did the Attila version because we, instead of doing chariot archers and catapults, well, Attila's got two unique units which actually just replace those two and are better. They have the horse archer which is a chariot archer replacement. It comes with an extra promotion, so it's got good ranged combat strength when it's on flat land. We made use of flat land today. Um, and it's got better defense and better movement. And so we're able to make use of that. And then we had the battering ram, which is important because it is 10 combat strength. And it's got a 300 bonus versus cities versus the catapult, which has eight combat strength and 200 bonus versus cities. So the battering ram does a lot more damage. It comes at the cost, and I explained this as part of the video earlier. It comes at the cost of when you have a melee unit and you attack, you lose hit points. Because you've lost hit points, you open yourself up to potentially being one shot. And I think we saw that happen a couple of times. Um, you open yourself up to being one shot with your battering rams. It's the only downside of a battering ram. But they do such blistering damage to cities. 
if you whistle the city down to about two thirds half health first and then just move in two battering rams that city is yours next turn and that's what we did there so we have an episode we have two capitals we have done some killing as part of this i hope that showed you how to do a little bit of like a chariot archer catapult style thing and rest assured same thing will work if you do chariot archer catapults you might need to be not slightly more careful because the catapults can shoot cities without taking any damage back you need to be a little bit more careful but if you've got decent production cities like this you go for one expand you build your roads and you've got some wide open planes against an ai that isn't one that loves to spam units early and on in the game and um, you can get something like this and it's happy days so thank you very much for watching the turn zero link in case you want to play it will be in the description below um, if you want the map as it is now, that's also going to be in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you like to. Um, it helps an absolute ton. Thank you very much, and I'll catch you next time.